Hello Unacademians, this is me Vignesh NP and I'm here to present the third lesson of class 11th biology on plant kingdom. So this is about me. My name is Vignesh NP and these are the extra details you can look on to. So we will discuss here in detail on the plant kingdom or the kingdom planted. So what we will describe here under plant kingdom are algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. These are the things that will come under plant kingdom. So first of all we will talk about algae. They are autotrophic in nature that means they make their own food. They reproduce by sexual, asexual and vegetative methods. Half of world's carbon dioxide fixation is done by algae. This is probably new to you but it's that half of world CO2 fixation is done by algae and the example for this are spirulina which is used as food supplements by space travelers. So this is divided into three chlorophysia which is the green one, rhodophysia red one and the phyophysia brown one. Next is the bryophytes. These are the amphibians of the plant kingdom. See. It's because they live in soil but are dependent on water for their reproduction purposes. Here the plant body is much more differentiated and complex than algae. So there are two types of this. One is the liverwort and the liverworts here the plant body is thalloid, dorsi ventral and closely appressed to the substrate. substrate sorry. Example, Mercantia and in Mosses, the gametophyte stage consists of two stages, that is Protonema stage and Leafy stage, example, Funaria. Next is the Pteridophytes. These are considered to be the first terrestrial plants to possess vascular tissues, differentiated into true stem, leaves and root. Gametophyte needs cool and damp places to grow. Next is the gymnosperms. So what does gymnosperms mean? Gymnosperms means gymno naked and seeds that is naked sperm seed that is naked seeds. Ovules here are not enclosed in ovary wall and they thus remain exposed like this. They have generally tap roots and they are heterosporous in nature example sequoia Pinus. Next are the angiosperms. These are the flowering plants that you see most commonly. Pollen grains, uh, grains and ovules are develop, developed in specialized structures called flowers. Divided into two dicotyledons and monocotyledons. They have their male organ as stamen and female sex organ as pistil. Now we will talk in detail about double fertilization. So here you can see the picture for double fertilization. It's a complex fertilization mechanism of angiosperms. It involves joining of a female gametophyte which is the embryo sac with two male gametes. Ovules develop into seeds. This is important. Ovules develop into seeds and ovary develops into fruit. Next is the plant cycle and alternation of generation. During life cycle of a sexually reproducing plant, there is alternation of generation between gamete producing haploid gametophyte and spore producing diploid sporophyte. Different plant groups show different patterns like haplontic, diplontic or haplodiplontic. The homework today is to learn the difference between Rhodo, Phyo and Chlorophysia and it is given in page 33 in the NCRT textbook. Find out the detailed mechanism of double fertilization in angiosperms and learn more about the alternation of generation in plants. So as always I insist that you do the homework and do it genuinely because it will help you in the long run.
so please rate review and my, and recommend my courses if you like it so that we can carry on this education revolution on an academy thank you thank you all